What's up guys, this is Sunny and I'm back with another video for you guys. Now first thing first, I want to thank all of you for subscribing to my channel and supporting my channel. I really appreciate the reason I'm here because of you guys and the reason I make all these videos so I can help you guys and that's the only reason I'm here making videos for you guys. I hope my channel help you guys and my videos help you guys. So guys, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I have 4,000 subscribers now and I really, really appreciate all of your guys' support. Now, as you can see, I have an Intel Xeon E5 2630V3 processor I just picked up. and so let's give you guys a quick update on the channel so basically I'm planning on building another system just for rendering video editing Photoshop so basically that system will be my workstation now as you guys know my black and white build I'm always doing update always doing something to that computer so I can't call this computer anymore my workstation because I'm always doing something always taking it apart now after I picked up the E5 2630 processor, the 8 core 16 thread, and I kind of did a compare benchmark between my 5820K and the, the new E5 2630. Now, I wasn't quite happy looking at the Cinebench score and the Geekbench score. Basically, it is the same performance as my 5820K 6 core. As you can see, my 5820K score and my CPU score 1012 and as you can see my Geekbench score now if you guys look at the E5 2630 score CPU score 1065 it's not a big difference between the 5820K and the E5 2630 so don't mind, I did this benchmark, I did my 5020k benchmark in my Hackintosh and I did the E5 uh, 2630 in my window, but it shouldn't make big difference. So, I did install the CPU in my black and white build just to test it out because I ordered the same motherboard, but, so, the, so let's just come to the conclusion, right? So basically, I'm... Um, for six hundred dollar, a E5 2630 is really not worth it compared to a 5020K. So I personally think it's not worth buying a E5 processor 2630. You know, rather than buying a 5020K or 5930K. So what I'm thinking guys, I'm just going to return the processor and get myself another 5020K or a 5930K and just build my rendering machine with that process. So let me know what you guys think. If you have any comment, any suggestion, please give me. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace guys.